Hi, kids. Today, we will learn about the words that are used as different parts of speech. So let's start. Here are some sentences. Let's read them carefully. He fell in the playground and injured his back. While coming back from school, I saw a cute puppy. I can't back you in this plan. I came through the back door. You can see that the word back is used in four sentences in four different ways. In the first sentence, the word back is a noun as it is the name of a part of the body. In the second sentence, the word back is an adverb as it is giving more information on the action of coming. In the third sentence, the word back is a verb as it's describing an action. And in the fourth sentence, the word back is acting as an adjective as it is describing the noun door. So friends, we have seen that one word can be used in different parts of speech in different sentences. Let's learn about such words and their function in a sentence. The first word is above. Above is a preposition. Let's use it as a preposition in a sentence. Hang the painting above the mantelpiece. Here, the word above is being used as a preposition, as it is telling us about the position of the noun painting, with respect to the other noun mantelpiece. But it can also be used as an adverb and an adjective. Let's see how. From above, the sun rained fire. Here, the word above is being used as an adverb as it describes the action being done by the sun. Now let's use it as an adjective. Meet me at the above address. Here, the word above is being used as an adjective as it is describing the noun after it. So, the word above can be used as a preposition, as an adverb, and as an adjective. Our next word is close. Close can be used as an adjective, as a noun, and as a verb. Let's see how. Julia and Keith were close friends. Here, the word close is an adjective, as it is describing the noun friends. The vacations will come to a close on 21st of July. Here, the word close is a noun as it is a naming word for end. The mall will close at 10. Here, the word close is a verb as it is telling about the action of closing. So the word close can be used as an adjective, a noun, and a verb. Let's see our next word. It is fast. Fast can be used as an adjective, a noun, a verb, and an adverb. Let's see how. This is a fast car. Here, the word fast is an adjective, as it is describing the noun car. She broke her fast with a glass of milk. Here, the word fast is used as a noun, as it is a naming word for a period in which a person doesn't consume food. Muslims fast during Ramadan. Here, the word fast is used a verb as it is telling about an action of not consuming food during the festival of Ramadan. Slow down! You are going too fast! Here, the word fast is used as an adverb as it is describing the action of going. Now let's learn about our next verb, which is less. 
It can be used as an adjective, as an adverb, and as a noun. Let's see how. You are paying less attention to your guitar classes these days. Here, the word less is an adjective as it is describing the noun attention. The winds are less powerful in this area. Here, the word less is an adverb as it is describing the adjective powerful. She won't be satisfied with less. Here, the word less is a noun, as it is a naming word for a little amount of something. So, the word less is used as an adjective, an adverb, and a noun. Our next word in the list is light. The word light can be used as a verb, as a noun, and as an adjective. Let's see how. Light the candle. Here, the word light is used as a verb, as it is telling about the action of igniting the candle. Switch on the light, please. Here, the word light is used as a noun, as it is a naming word for a light bulb. This is a very light phone. Here, the word light is an adjective as it is telling us about the quality of the noun phone. So, the word light can be used as a verb, a noun, and an adjective. Let's see what our next word is. Our next word is right. The word right can be used as an adjective, as an adverb, as a noun, and as a verb. Let's see how. Is it the right choice? Here, the word right is used as an adjective as it is describing the noun choice. Am I doing it right? Here, the word right is used as an adverb as it is describing the verb of doing. I have a right to know what is going on. Here, the word right is used as a noun, as it is a naming word for claim. I will right the wrongs I have done. Here, the word right is used as a verb, as it is telling about the action of making things correct. So, the word right can be used as an adjective, adverb, noun, and verb. Now, let's learn about our next word. Sound. I will sound the horn when I am outside your door. Here, the word sound is a verb as it is telling us about the action of blowing horn. The sound of the alarm woke me. Here, the word sound is a noun as it's the naming word for the noise made by something. My grandfather has sound health. Here, the word sound is used as an adjective, as it is describing the noun help. So, the word sound can be used as a verb, a noun, and an adjective. Our next word is till. Till can be used as a conjunction, a noun, and a verb. Let's see how. Wait till I tell you to come in. Here, the word till is used as a conjunction, as it is linking one part of the sentence to the other. There are only silver coins in the till. Here, the word till is used as a noun, as it is a naming word for a drawer for keeping money. The farmers till the land before sowing. Here, the word till is used as a verb, as it refers to the action of plowing. Let's learn our last word in the list, which is up. This word has many versatile uses, as it can be used as an adverb, a preposition, a verb, an adjective, and a noun. Let's see how. The prices of diesel are up. 
Here, the word up is used as an adverb, as it is telling us something further about the action of the raise in the prices of diesel. I want to climb up the ladder. Here, the word up is used as a preposition, as it is telling us about the position in which the subject wants to climb. The prices of diesel will be upped from midnight. Here, the word upped is used as a verb, as it is telling us about the action of increasing the prices. I will take the next up bus. Here, the word up is used as an adjective, as it is describing the noun bus. Life is full of ups and downs. Here, the word up is used as a noun, as it is a naming word for difficulty. So we have learned about the words that's used as different parts of speech. Now you may go ahead and take a quiz to learn more. Bye-bye. Tootway has thousands of animated videos on math, English, and science to clear the core basics of these subjects.